Welcome to Google Calendar Training. Learning Objectives. Here's what we'll learn today. How to select a calendar for viewing. How to add events to a calendar. How to delete events. How to invite people to events. How to share a calendar. And how to accept an invite to a shared calendar. In order to select a particular calendar for viewing, you would go to the lower left corner of the screen and select, by the calendar you're interested in, the drop down arrow. And then in this case, I would select display this calendar. I now can see all the items related to the Bosco sales staff calendar. And that is how you select a calendar for viewing. Now ready to discuss how to create an event. Located under the Google logo to the upper left corner of the screen is a link titled Create Event. Click this link. You can now insert information about your event. I've inserted the title of the event to be Sales Meeting. I can also select the time of the event and the duration of the event. I can also identify whether or not this event repeats, where it will be located, in this case for our demonstration it will be the Bosco head office, and the description of the event will be sales to date. When I'm completed entering in my information for my event, I click save, and my event has been added. As you can see, it overlaps with another event, but in this case, for our example, it will be fine. But always make sure that your events do not overlap because you could end up scheduling meetings where people cannot attend because they'll be at a previous meeting. We are now ready to discuss how to delete an event. So we'll go back to the event that we just created. We place our mouse into the dark red color and we double click. Located just above the what field are three buttons, save, cancel, and delete. In our case, we're going to delete this event. It prompts us for a pop-up to make sure that we really want to delete this event. In our case, we do. This event is now deleted and anybody who can view this calendar will notice that the event is now gone. If people were invited to the event, it would also send a notification regarding this event being cancelled to all attendees. We are now ready to discuss how to add guests to an event. In this case, we have decided to create a teleconference as our event. We have a fictional 1-800 number for the event, and the topic of the event for the day will be sales leads. What we need to do now is select people to attend the event. The first thing you do is you click Add Guests. At that time, you'll be presented with your first window. You can actually provide or permit your users to invite other people or not. You can also provide the users to see who else will be attending the event. You click Add Guest again, and you now insert the Gmail accounts for all of your members. If you cannot remember your Gmail account, you can go back. So I'm just going to select Save. I'm going to go back into my email, select Gmail Accounts, grab everybody on the list, copy it, Go back to my Google Calendar, select my event by double clicking on it, click on Add Guests, Paste, and select Save. You'll notice this pop-up window will appear. At the instance that you click Send, 
everybody on this list will be emailed with notification of this meeting. And that's how you add guests to a meeting. Now ready to discuss how to share a calendar. We first start off by clicking Manage Calendars, located on the lower left of the screen. This will now present us with information about our available calendars. Currently, we want to create a brand new calendar in our example, so we click Create New Calendar. For the purposes of our demonstration, we are going to create a calendar called Water Treatment Division. You can, at this point, insert additional information about the calendar, but in our demonstration, the name of the calendar itself will be fine. And we can scroll down to the bottom of the page and immediately start adding people to use the calendar. Underneath Add a New Person, we can select an email address of someone that we want to share the calendar with. And then our demonstration will select myself as the person. And I will give myself the rights to be able to manage and make all changes in this calendar. We're now ready to discuss how to accept an invitation to view a shared calendar. In this case, Rabia has sent us an invitation to view a shared calendar and we can click on the link provided. In order to view the Water Treatment Division calendar, I would select the drop-down, then select Display This Calendar Only, and now I can only see information related to this calendar. If I need to go back to the Bosco Sales Staff calendar, I click Display This Calendar Only, and I am now back in the view for the Bosco Sales Staff calendar. And that's how you accept an invitation to view a shared calendar.